Hi loves, welcome back to another vlog. I feel like it's been forever since I vlogged, like actually spoke to you guys and I miss you all. I hope you all are doing well. I can't believe we're like in the middle of November and next week is like Thanksgiving already? Mind blown, mind blown. So I did film a few things the past week or so just little snippets here and there so if they're good i'm gonna insert them right now <laughs> hi hi oh my gosh i haven't vlogged in so long what do you have mini mouse and who's the other one um sully sully <laughs> oh look i'm steady tom came back with a ton of stuff so i'll show you guys Hey. Oh my my! You know what that's from? A mess. A mess. Liam, look at this. Ooh. He doesn't even care. A Spider Man costume. Oh my, oh my god. <laughs> How many ones? One, two, three. Oh, there's only five. Tom said they're like a dollar a piece. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. Okay, baby. Yeah, baby. And all the. House ties because we have Gryffindor. We can put these ones on the trees. Hey, That'd be nice. Mom, you what? Get this. Oh, open it. See what's inside. It's gummy. It's gummy. <laughs> you don't want to open it. I want to take it. Daddy can open it. Daddy can show you. Yeah. Oh. Tom to wants to show it. you guys. What's this pixie? Getting ready to push it downstairs. Yeah. I know, I need to start cleaning downstairs. It's the turtle, I, got you. I think this weekend we can decorate downstairs. It's the turtle, I got you. Wow, it's so big. What size is that? This is small. What did you grab? This is small. Oh my. You know, sometimes hangers are wrong. It's small, five to seven. This is small? So big. I guess he wore a small this year, but dang. Oh, uh, bad Did I get one now? <laughs> He's running away. It's just a mask, baby. I told you those are creepy. See? Yeah, that's creepy. Happy pumpkin man. Look at him smile. Mm. Oh, it lights up? It does. It does. Button's mm. not working. I'll be dead. No, oh, keep those in the bag. And I don't like that. That's so creepy. Arr. <laughs> A pirate zombie. <laughs> cool zombie, how they mm, We don't like those. This is Spider Man. Spider -Man. Yeah. That's cute. This one's just all spandex. Yeah, it's just like, I don't know, for fun. But the other one's like a legit Never costume. Seen, we'll have to show. Give me a donkey one. I'm sure someone would have seen it. Eat you. Oh, you're not scared? Good. Yeah, it's not but that scary. Kind of creepy. That, one that one's scary. Yeah, that one even has hair and everything. Ugh. That one's like a pumpkin almost. And I have a bag like that. <laughs> Sushi, come here. Hi, pup. Hi. Hi, puppy. You need a haircut. And haircut it's in a bath. But oh. you're not walking. I'll have to change the batteries, right? You're not walking. Man, the pumpkin. Mm, oh, it's puppy. not connected this way. Hmm, where's puppy. the cable? Puppy. I don't know, puppy. The cable. The you cable. need a haircut. You're so fluffy. Where are we, Daddy? Why are you backing up, Liam? Liam. Oh, Death Eater! Oh, it's got a strap for changing tightness. That's not even on his eyes! <laughs> I'll make it tighter for you, okay, Liam? Well, Let's then. see you, Mom. <laughs> oh my. You're a Death, a death Eater. Death Eater, yeah. Yeah. From Harry Potter. Potter. Maisie, look at me. To tighten it more. <laughs> Can you? See? What's the matter? Oh, my sushi. Sushi is not scared of it. 
<laughs> Come on. Say ha ha ha. Wow. <laughs> Do the heart. Do heart, Liam, with your, with your hands. Now your mother has broken hearts. Oh, monsters have broken hearts? And it can't eat people. <gasps> I have a job. But what if it's a good monster? No. What if it's a lovely monster? No. It loves people. No. It <laughs> can eat people. So much Oh my gosh. Where are your eyeballs? <gasps> <laughs> You're so funny. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I haven't really been vlogging lately just because we've been so busy. I've been preparing for my sticker shops Christmas really is. I I don't know if you guys know. I love Christmas. I feel like I mean I love all seasons, but for some reason Christmas is one of those um holidays that I just love i love the decor i love the feeling that it gives i love gift giving so it's like ah and i do vlogmas you guys know that so it's just my favorite so for my sticker shop i love all the christmas stickers give me all of them last year i went to look how many sticker sheets i created oh my god there were so many so i i was like i either have to make the same amount this year or more I, I can't even with myself. Um, I feel like there's a lot. There's a few like actual collections that I created for the shop. And I'm like, is this too much? I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really excited. Today is Monday and the release is on Wednesday. So I mainly finished all of the collections. I, oops, sorry about that. I've been, I've been like sneak peeking them on Instagram and I'm so happy that a lot of you have been liking them. So there's just like a few actual collections and then the rest are just sticker or journal stickers. So like, like single sheets and stuff like that. And I'm also adding a few like scripts for in the shop like for months and like a 2024 calendar and all of that just so you will have it for the new year because i know some people like me i like to have my 2024 planners and journals ready to go um for january so i like to decorate like in december ish you know so anyways yeah i i have a lot happening in the shop right now so i'm doing this release on wednesday and then i need to sort out what i want to do for black friday because i feel like black friday and cyber monday is our biggest sale of the year i usually do sales like end of season sales and they're usually around like 20 percent off or something like that but i think during black friday i always do either 30 or 40 percent sometimes even 50 on some items so we are going to be doing a big sale on Black Friday. I just don't know if I want to do like a full week. All I, Like I don't know the details right now. So I have to look into that after I do the release. Because you know you don't want to release something. And then a week later have it go on sale. Like super sale or something like that. So I'm going to have to figure that out. Um, because you know I want it to be fair for everybody and all that. So anyways. That's enough of shop talk. Um, lots of things to do. And yeah, it's Monday. I have till Wednesday to like finish all the little details and everything. So, okay. What time is it already? I think it's like, it's 8 o'clock. Yeah. I still have to get my workout in for today. I don't even know if I'm gonna because my knees are giving me issues. So, I think I'm just gonna do like... I don't know, some upper body workout or something to give my knees a break. Um, but anyways, I wanted to share with you all the things that I got from Fountain Pen Day. I have a little pile here. And then I also have this cute little pile of like three things from TJ Maxx that I picked up for my office. Um, and oh yeah, this too. So I'm not going to unbox some of these I just want to share them with you like a haul and then I want to do like separate videos on some of them just so you you know we can go into details and stuff you know so anyways okay first up is this or the things from TJ Maxx I am like 
out of note cards or thank you cards and stuff like that. So I found this at Marshalls actually. This is by Kate Spade. I love Kate Spade note cards and this was only $10 and I love this is darling. I actually grabbed one already and put it on my cork board back there. It's so cute. But yeah, I actually do use these whenever I write to friends. Oops, sorry. Hello. Hello. Okay. Whenever I write to friends and stuff. So I love these and I'm hoping to find more. I was looking for something with um, a monogram or whatever, but everything I keep finding is not really my style. So yeah, really hard to find note cards and thank you cards that I live. Okay. And you guys know I've been kind of collecting cute little things for my bookcase over there. Um, and I found these and they're so cute. They're not super in your face. So this one was $5.99 and I love it. You guys know the vibe, right? So I had to get it. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry about this camera. It's just lots of backlight happening. So this is just so cute, right? I love it. And it's only $5.99. I was thinking of, okay, here, can you see it? Right there. I have this thing going on. I was going to put it there, but I'm like, okay, no. I like this fruit trio. And then I have those cute little bow things that to hang things in. So I think that's going to go there. So anyways, I think... This is just going to go on the bookcase. And yeah, I need a photo to put in there. It's so, so cute. I love this. And it has some weight. And for $5.99, I was like, yes. And then this one was also $5.99. I, I wanted um, a 4x6. But nothing too crazy. Everything that I keep finding that was 4x6 was just too big. And I love how this one actually fits on my little stand over there. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I love it. And it, it has like Christmassy. I don't know if you can see that. Like Christmas trees on there. But, like, without the Christmas trees and stuff, it's just pink and gold. You know, like, the detail. It's just so cute. Look at that. And this was also $5.99. So, I had to get it. There is one that I really, really want on Amazon. It's, like, I think $25, so it's a little crazy. But the detail on it looks so pretty, so I might ask, like, someone to get it to me for Christmas. I don't know. Okay, everything that I bought on Fountain Pen Day... I actually didn't go too crazy. What I'm going to show you are for myself and giveaway prizes. I did purchase other items as well on Fountain Pen Day for like um, friends and family like as gifts. So I'm not going to share those because I don't want them to see it. Sorry, my nose, there's like fuzz everywhere. I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to share with you the stuff that i got um on atlas that's really where i place an order i place an order on atlas and also on esther brook and that's it i was actually really good no i actually i bought one thing on amazon <clears throat> as a christmas present for one of my friends um and did i buy anything on ebay oh yeah i did buy something on ebay but it wasn't because fountain pen day it was just like i found a hobonichi cover that i've been looking for for a while and i finally found it on ebay and it was like good condition and i couldn't pass it up so anyways sorry i just i haven't even got ready for the day yet i just wanted to film this okay sorry about my appearance by the way okay so anyways this is from atlas and i'm really excited so i really um okay let's see i got this is for the giveaway i'm gonna share it with you so Every Vlogmas, I do a giveaway because I want to give back to you guys. Like I said, to me, Christmas is a season and it's, for me, it's all about gift giving and give it ba giving back to the people that I love and, you know, that made me happy and whatever. So, you guys are a big part of this vlog channel. Like, I won't be here without you guys, so I truly appreciate you guys and if you've been around and you know that I love doing giveaways during vlogmas so i really wanted to put together a few boxes this year um i think four four boxes this year i'm hoping i can put together um and i always want to give what i love so items that are tried and true and you know just i want it to be something that i i know you guys will love as well so I purchased these on Atlas for you guys. I got you 
the same Hobonichi Weeks. We're going to be twinsies. And yeah, this is the Hobonichi Weeks. You guys know how much I love my Hobonichi Weeks. And this is the paper series. This is the pale blue. It has the beautiful, you're not going to be able to see it, but it has like beautiful shimmer. It's stunning. This is in English. It's a 2024. Like, yes, you're going to love this. And I actually ended up getting a clear cover for it so you can protect it so you are set to go and guess what i even went an extra mile and found this on facebook marketplace and i was like do i do i really want to buy that what if y'all don't even love it but i was like committed to that we're gonna be twinsies you know we're gonna be twinsies for 2024 whoever is gonna get this we're gonna have the exact same hobonichi weeks so i was very determined and i was like I need to get this I need I need to get this and when it popped up it was a sign I have to get it oh my gosh do you see this this is the hide-and-seek cover on cover from what 2010 or something like that very very hard to find there is a little cut on top but when you put the cover on the the hobonichi weeks you won't be able to see the little cut because it's on the other it's on the inside so the outside is perfectly fine um if, even the inside it's fine it's just like a little cut um but yes i got it for you so whoever is gonna win this little bundle oh my gosh i'm so happy for you yeah, I'm really excited. This is, the again, the hide-and-seek cover and cover from, like, a few years ago. Super, super hard to find. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe I found it on Facebook Marketplace. I found mine on Facebook Marketplace, too. So, yeah, I'm really excited. So, you're going to get two cover and covers, maybe. Whoever wins, I'm going to ask, do you want this one or the clear cover, you know? Because maybe you don't want both. I don't know. You, I don't know. So, anyways, I got that for the vlogmas giveaway and i'm so excited for whoever will win this bundle oh you're welcome <laughs> no i just it's just i love this combo i don't know if you saw my video about it but it just looks so dreamy like this cover and cover looks stunning on this um hobonichi weeks so good so i got that for you and the last thing that i got from atlas for the vlogmas giveaway is the ink charger set by ferris will press this has two of my all-time favorite inks okay so it has steep Dumber, which i absolutely love i use it so much it's one of the best inks out there and also oyster hour so I'm really excited. It also, the third ink is um, Spruce County Post, which is a very dark green. And I feel like that's also something anybody will love. I just don't personally have it in my collection because I have a lot of dark greens already. But the other two, though, highly recommend. So I'm really excited for whoever will win this one as well because these inks are beautiful. And Ferris Will Press inks, I feel like, are super, super good. Um... I don't know i never have issues with them also like their packaging you can't go wrong like so i got that for the giveaway as well so yeah that's everything that i purchased from atlas for the vlogmas giveaway everything else here i got i got four things for myself and like i said everything else is like presents for friends and family so i'm not going to show that um but i'll share with you what i got for myself um i went ahead and purchased the first will press the carousel inkwell this was on sale on atlas for 33 dollars it's normally 56 and to be honest with you do i think it's worth 56 dollars no i wouldn't i would never personally i would never spend that much on this but for 33 i'm like okay i can justify it a little bit better because only because it's something that i feel like i'm never really gonna use or need to use it's just purely for fun and just to have as a collection because i already have these guys and i'm like i need to complete the collection right so i already have their carriages so this is super adorable and you guys this one i have two of because this one i know i would use and i do use it like i keep my inks on it like this and when i'm doing swatches and stuff like that 
I keep the bottles that I'm gonna open on it just so it you know it doesn't tip over and whatnot so I do really love the carriages so anyways I also you know was like I need I should just get it it's 33 is not like a bad price so let me just show you in case you've never seen this before so it is an inkwell it's meant to you can like put your ink in there and you can stir um, especially if you're working with um, calligraphy ink maybe if you're mixing something or shimmer inks um, you can also store ink in there it says keep your carousel capped to prolong the life of your ink you can place the glass cup on the caps spinning point gently spin to stir your ink and you can also use it as a reservoir never miss a drop with two angle latching positions for dipping so okay so this is what it looks like right it's like the cutest thing isn't that adorable it's like a glass this is glass and this is brass the cap it just goes like that and it's like the cutest thing look at that and you can so this is the cap and you put this on top and you can spin it sorry like that you see how it's spinning so it steers the ink that you have in especially if you have like shimmers it does like you know a good job or it's supposed to do a good job of steering it but my one thing is like when you put ink in here how do you get it back in the bottle you know that was always like what I thought of and like it said on here you can store the ink in there and you put the cap on to prolong the life but I feel like Will it really? Because do you see this? Hold on. See? Like, it's not like the cap is sealed. You know what I mean? So how does it prolong your ink life? I don't know. So that's why I was very iffy about it. But again, it was on sale. So I was like, okay, I don't think I can get it for any cheaper than that. So I just got it. So cute though, right? I don't know. We'll see if I actually use it. You guys know me. I always like cute things, but then sometimes I don't even use them. Okay, so anyways, what else? Oh, I got this. I really love my Hobonichi notebooks. You guys know that. And I'm thinking for next year. I don't know. I'm torn because right now I have these as my travel journals and I, as much as I love the TM Passport because it's so little and so great for on the go I'm like you guys know how much I love my my A6 size like it's my favorite size of journal I feel like that is my planner piece it just gives me the right amount of uh, space so anyways I think after this year I, I think I told my friend online who was I talking to? Either Marilyn or I don't know. I think it's someone else. Maybe Elaine. I don't know. But um, I think after I'm done with this year's, like my fall and winter insert, I'm just going to do these because I, I love these so much um, for my little adventures or travel journals. We'll see. I do like the fact that, you know, I can buy an insert. And that one insert is specifically for that trip. Because we don't do a lot of trips, you know. Um, but also, like, I've been doing, like, travels. Like, I did my summer adventures. And that's from, like, May through September. You know what I mean? And that's a lot of trips. I don't know. I don't know. I'll figure it out. And I will let you guys know. But for right now, I am in the TM Passport. Um, it's just like with an A6, I can totally do more. You know what I mean? And I do have a few of these um, A6 notebooks, the graph ones. But I decided I wanted this one because I actually have the Aristocat ones. Um, and I love how it lays. They're just really good. And you can actually peel them too if you want. Here, let me show you. So this is the the Hobonichi Yumi Kita 
Gishi. Sorry if I butchered that. It's the Hobonichi Papers. Take a look. And I really wanted to get the cover for this, but I missed out on it. It's like sold out everywhere. But this is that. Isn't that so beautiful? And then the back is a cute little hand. Adorable. And what I love about these notebooks or Hobonichi Papers is they have... I'm going to zoom in here. They have little designs in the bottom. But like, look how flat this lays. Can you see that? You see that? It lays so good. So flat. And again, you can easily peel off the... You can easily peel off the pages too if you need to. Not that I plan on doing that, but if ever. Um, one thing is that I'm noticing this paper is different. I haven't even used the one that I have... Um, that I have so I don't know how it's gonna be with uh with fountain pen inks but I'm sure it'll be fine it's just like this feels so much smoother a little bit thicker too than what I'm used to like than what's in the A6 notebooks and stuff it's just different but I'm excited to have this and I got it for such a good deal at last because it was 20% off so not bad at all okay last but not the least are fountain pen inks and fountain pens so these I got on Atlas as well they were really cheap I think like seven dollars with the discount oh my gosh I'm so sorry my nose is so itchy I feel like it's just fuzz all over me so I got these they're the Colorverse um Korea special ink and I got two colors Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So one is just a normal ink, no shimmer whatsoever. It's called Haho Mask, and as you can see, it's a brown ink. And I'm so excited that these are the smaller bottles because I do have some of the um, Color Versus inks, and their bottles can be the biggest bottles. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh. So when I saw that these are the tiny ones, I'm like, perfect. I love it. So this is Haho Mask. It's a brown shade. I'm so excited. I'm not going to do a swatch right now, but we will definitely do one in the future. I'm excited to use this. I'm thinking of using that with the new pen that I just got, so stay tuned. Um, but this is the other one that I got. This one is the Glistening Ink, and so it's shimmery, and it's in the color Han Bit. And this looks like a gorgeous blue. I'm still on a hunt for that blue. I feel like... One year, I would be like, yes, this is it. And then the next year, I'm like, that's not it. This is just not it. So I'm still kind of like looking for that perfect blue. But I think I have a few in my collection now, especially after Eileen got me. I think it was Chicago. I'm like, ooh, that's a good one. So this is Han Bit. I'll insert like swatches on the side because I'm not swatching it right now. So you can't really like have an idea. But the shimmer on this looks beautiful. So that's that. I'm so excited. Again, we'll swatch these in another video because I don't have time to right now. And this one, I just kind of want to do a haul. Okay, last but not the least, I got mm, Esther Brooke. I'm so excited. So I only have one Esther Brooke SD, and it's this one right here. And as much as I love it, it's not something that I use every day because of the nib that I have in it. So I was actually gifted this and I think it came with a medium nib and you guys know I love more of a fine and extra fine nib for everyday writing and for some reason instead of me purchasing an extra fine nib I was like "Ooh, let me get a flex nib like I've been wanting a flex nib but this flex nib from Esther Brooke that I got for this pen is a little bit too stiff for what I was looking for so I haven't been reaching out for this pen which is really sad so I'm thinking of putting back the medium nib on this I think I would like that better and I could use it for not for everyday writing but for other things I don't know but yeah right now I have an extra fine flex nib on this and I just haven't been reaching out for it if I'm looking for a flex nib or if I'm wanting to do to use a flex nib, I grab my Peniter. The flex nib on this, it's I think this is called a quill nib, and oh my gosh, this has such beautiful bounds, and I just this is this is it for my flex. Um, 
So, anyways. Sorry. My God, my freaking nose. I'm dying here. Okay. So, anyways. Long story short, I'm really sad that I haven't been using this. I might actually look into possibly getting a different nib for this or have it grinded down. We'll see because I want to use this pen. This pen is stunning. This is the Botanical Garden ST. So anyways, I really wanted an ST that I could use for everyday writing. So this is it. So for the longest time, I've actually had Petrified Forest um, on my wish list. But after really looking at all the photos and everything, I was like, no, that one's a little bit too orange, too red for me. Um, like orangey red. So I was looking and looking at what they had. And this one, I was like, I think this is it. So I'm really excited. So this is the SD Tortoise in Gold trim. When I tell you it's stunning, it's stunning. So I'm going to go ahead and open it now. But again, I want to do a whole video on this. Like a separate video of inking it up and everything. And yeah, we're going to do that soon. Okay, I promise. But this is it. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Look at it. Oh, okay. So I, you know, I was like, mm, what if it's too dark? Because, you know, with these... Because with these pens, sometimes they they look different. They all, none of them ever look the same, right? Because they're of the, how they're made or whatever. I got one that, oh my god. It's like coffee to me. Ah! It has the perfect amount of light. I was actually very scared that, oh my god, what if I get one that has too much of the dark brown and I'm going to hate it. But when I saw this, I was like, it just, it's perfect. It has the perfect amount of lightness. I love it, you guys. I feel like the camera isn't doing it justice, but y'all. It's like freaking coffee to me. I love it. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, we're going to do a whole video on this. I'm going to zoom you in. You can see all the little like shimmery specks in there. But with this pen, I got it. Needlepoint! So I was looking and I was like reading all about their nibs. And I was like, do I want extra fine? What if I don't like their extra fine? And I was looking at the swatches and it says on there that if you want something even finer than they're extra fine definitely check out the needle point and i was like all right i am gonna get the needle point and this is actually a special grind by kirk spear and i actually have not really met him but i i was at his booth at the chicago um chicago pen show and I actually that's where i bought this pen this is the only pen that I bought at the Chicago Pen Show. It's the Pilot um, Custom 74 in the Benny Full. Look at this beautiful pen. I got this from his booth. And this is an extra fine. And I love it. Um, but anyways, so I was at his booth. And I was like, ooh, so cool. I'm so excited. So yeah, we're definitely going to ink this up. And yeah, like I said, I'm thinking of using the Ha Ho Mask ink in that i'm so excited so excited yeah i can't wait to try this so that's what i got from esterbrook i am excited and esterbrook has such a good deal too so i got that for such a good price i'm so happy um also it came with a beautiful like i think all all the orders yeah if you were buying like a pen you get um their pen sleeve which is the fountain pen um pen sleeve which i already have so i'm thinking this is gonna be part of the giveaway for vlogmas because i already have one like i said here mine's over here so this is the the free pen sleeve for every purchase during fountain pen day so it's this magenta with the beautiful dusty rose inside and then on the other side has the fountain pen fountain pen day logo 
so really nice pen sleeve i'm so excited about that so yeah glad i got that and i'm giving it away to you guys adding it to the giveaway pile for vlogmas but yeah that is it that's everything that i got for found pen day i hope you enjoyed seeing that and i don't know i don't know what else to do you guys i'm like drawing a blank on what to film because i it's like what do i film this month for november because all my ideas i'm like this is for december and i'm also gonna start filming those like pre-filming i don't know i'm like in a rut and it's weird and usually i'm pretty good about this but it's just i feel like there's a lot of things happening and it needs to slow down a little bit so help <laughs> anyways okay that's it for now i need to get going it is now 8 30 i've been sitting here talking to you guys for like half an hour i hope you enjoyed this video um i will try to listen link everything in the description box down below again we're gonna do a whole thing about this like a whole video with this pen and the inks that i got i'm so excited to swatch them for you guys and mm, i'm excited okay bye guys thank you so much for being here again i hope you enjoyed this video let me know um and yeah i'll see y'all soon in my next one bye